Lord, it's been a minute. Hello, everybody. Come on in. I'm excited. I'm going to wait for Facebook to build me an audience. I am praying that as everybody come on on tonight, they are looking forward to this awesome, uplifting, encouraging word. How are you, people of God? I'm going to wait on Facebook to build me an audience. Come on in, people of God. I need you to contact. Well, I need you to tag and share and get on the phone and contact everybody and let them know Dr. Shakira McFadden is live. I don't know what you've been going through, but baby, let me tell you, it's about to get easier after tonight. I need you to tag 15 people. That's the number on tonight. Tag 15 people you love, 15 people you care about, 15 people you want to motivate on tonight. Listen. I haven't been on here in a while. My husband say, baby, you ain't been going live. I said, because I got a feeling. God got to tell me what to say, when to say, how to say it, and why, to, and, and, and why I'm saying it. If I can just get you to tag 15 people on tonight, I already feel God. I'm trying to calm myself down because I'm halfway hyped up. I'm excited about the message on tonight. Come on in, people of God. It's been a minute. Come in, come in, come in. Come on in. I need you to tag a few people. Could I get you to tag 15 people? Could I get you to tag 15 people, people of God? How are you? How are you? How are you? Come on in. Come on in, baby. God is up to something. It's been a minute. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I need you guys to get tag and share very quickly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> the Bible says that where two or more are gathered, he is in the midst. Baby, y'all already know I will not get started until everybody is on here who's supposed to be on here. God bless you, Latroya, for tagging and sharing. Come on. I need y'all to tag and share. Baby, this word that God is giving me on tonight is about to be something amazing. Come on in, hit tag and share people of God. It's been a minute, but I'm excited for what God is doing in my life, in your life. When you hear tonight's message, you're going to be blessed. And listen, it's so crazy because I told my husband, I said, oh, I hate when God give me what he want me to say at the last minute. But do you know that he's a last minute on time God? So when he dropped this word in my spirit, I immediately started reading in, in my Bible. And it's so crazy because the 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 the. the scriptures he gave me on tonight people of God is going to bless y'all it's not an area that we read often uh so I was just honored when God just began to give me the word out of it so if I can have you hit share and tag 15 people on tonight come on come on I got a message for somebody I got a message for somebody and I I really just haven't been on here in a while, people of God, and I haven't been on here because sometimes you got to be silent you got to make sure you hear from God you got to Excuse me. Get before God. Ask him what's your what's your what's your next move. You got to get before God and just ask him, you know, what it is you're requiring from me. Sometimes you got to get before God and just say, God, I'm tired. Uh, uh, you know, and I'm just on some real stuff on tonight. It, it requires a move of God sometimes. And, you know, I'm excited about what God is doing on tonight. So come on in, people of God. Yes, 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 yes. The number is 15, 15 people on tonight. So if I can have y'all tagging and sharing, that would be such a blessing uh, for me on tonight. How are you guys? How are you? Come on. Help me wake up Facebook, baby. It's been a minute. And Janae, if I can get you to share this in the group, sis, that'll be a blessing. Let me let me speak blessings over some obedient people real quick. Blessings on you, Capri, for tagging and sharing. Cornelius, blessings on you. See, if this is your first time on my live, baby, the quickest way you can put a seed in the ground is by simply doing nothing. Just hitting tag and share. I know we're all excited for the word of God. I'm excited. That's why I'm trying to pipe down. I'm trying to calm myself all the way down. Leah, if I can get you to tag and share. But you know, sometimes it just, you know, you'll be all hyper, you'll be excited for what God is doing. So come on in, people of God. I need you to come in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. For another 120 more seconds, for another two minutes, people of God, I need some people who gonna stand in the gap with me on tonight and say, devil, we ain't never scared. I need some people who gonna stand in the gap with me on tonight and say, you done messed up and woke up. My Ooh, Jesus, I'm trying not to jump into the word. But come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tag and share. Sasha, I love you. Shamika, come on. I need you tagging and sharing. I will be. 
Friday, as of Friday, I will be in Bradenton, Florida. I'm excited. One of the young ladies who was in my um, anthology book, now here's the real truth, is having, you know, her own personal book release. And one thing about me, baby, I'm a supporter. I'm going to support people. I love doing it. If I'm available, my schedule will be crazy. But if I'm available, uh, my, my girl Sasha... She's on. She was in my anthology book. She got a book release coming up. I'm so excited. I'm definitely going to be a part of that. Alvita, it's just so many of them that I'm just so proud of. Why? Because you're not a good leader unless you can raise other leaders. Could I just be honest with you? So I'm just excited about all the people who God, you know, have been bringing in my life. People of God, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just push a little bit. I know this message is going to be good because all of a sudden, you already know. When I go to drinking water, it's like, okay. The enemy trying to come after my voice, but baby, I'm going to get his word out tonight because it blessed my whole heart. So come on in, Desandra. Thank you for tagging and sharing. Tanika, thank you for tagging and sharing. Sometimes it takes a minute to, to, you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> to, to get Facebook going and everything like that because I ain't been on in a minute. But I'm excited. Uh, let me give you a little motivation. If you are just now tuning in, today's message, tonight's message is going to be, it ain't nobody about to question you about it. It ain't nobody about to question you about it. Y'all don't even understand that the way God dropped this thing in my spirit on tonight, bless me on a whole nother level. Pretty diamond, I love you, sis. Still praying for the things you asked me to pray for. And Janae is on. I'm excited. All of the, the, the young ladies from my just anthology book, man. They they doing big things. And I'm just so excited, man, about the way God is moving. What I love about me, I can only talk about me. It's one thing about me. I love fixing women crowns, baby. I, I'm not stingy with my platform. I love taking women with me. I love building people up. And not everybody got that anointing on their life. You get what I'm saying? So I'm excited about what God is doing. Uh, come on in, people of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in. Uh, come on in. Come on in. Come on. Just, just 60 more seconds and I promise you we're going to get started. Come on. I need you to tag and share. Come on. Don't get tired of tagging and sharing on tonight because God is up to something amazing. Latoya, thank you for tagging and sharing as always. Latoya Emery. Come on. 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 Just a few more seconds. Oh, Jesus. Calm down. Calm down. Dr. Shakir McFadden, calm down. I already feel God, and I know this is going to bless somebody. This is going to bless somebody on tonight. Hey, love you, my friend, great friend. Latoya is on. Love you, Latoya Turner. Love you, the life sis. Come on, I need y'all tagging and sharing. Deep confidence. Natasha is on. That's my bae. I love her. We linked up through social media. I haven't even met her a day in my life and feel like she's been my sister forever. God been connecting me with just so many people, man. It's Kingdom Connections in this season. Uh, if you are just now tuning in tonight's messages, it ain't nobody about to question you about it. I need everybody to just drop question marks below. Drop question marks below. Drop question marks below. Yes, this Friday and Saturday, I am in Bradenton, Florida. I'm coming down. I ain't even coming down to play. I'm excited about what God is doing. I heard a lot of people, people been wondering, oh, am I going to do one-on-ones? I'm going to definitely pull some people to the side and, you know, do some things like that. But let me get ready to go into the word of God. It ain't nobody about to question you about it. Come on. I know y'all trying to figure out evangelist. Dr. Shakira, what are you talking about? Listen, people of God, I was reading my Bible. And literally, I just had an aha moment. See, you wouldn't understand if you ain't opening your Bible. And the good thing about it, if you ain't opening your Bible, baby, I'm going to break it all the way down for you. Because why? I was there at one point. Didn't want to open my Bible. Didn't want to know about God. Didn't want to know about Jesus. Didn't want nobody coming up to me, handing me no watchtowers. Or, 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 you know, or, 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 you know, just trying to teach me anything about Jesus. I ain't want to speak to Jehovah Witnesses. I ain't want to speak to Israelites. I ain't want to talk to Christians. I ain't want to do nothing but stand on the block and get money. I ain't want to talk to nobody about receiving Jesus as my Lord and Savior and give him a change my life. All I want to do is go through the bank line to do fraud. If this is your first time, baby, oh my life, welcome. I am Dr. Shakira McFadden. On this page, you're going to get nothing but realness. If you can't handle it, baby, this might be the time you need to log off. But I'm, I just want to talk to some people on today who've been going through some things and do not understand why. I ain't talking about them going, them going through some things and it's the, the basics. 
<coughs> excuse me, what usually go on an argument here, there, or people trying your gangs and all that. No, 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 no. I'm talking about a whole nother level of going through some things. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message is ain't nobody and, and, and ain't nobody about to question you about it. You the one that's watching this video, some of you on this live right now, God is about to show up in your life in an unexplainable way. I want everybody to comment below unexplainable way. Listen, the only way we can come on one accord on tonight, baby, and we doing this thing virtually is, look, if I say something you like, it's going to be like we in virtual school, like when them kids was out for COVID and they had to sit there listening to the TV, listening to the teacher, even though they got distracted around them like TV they got their playstations in the room they got their phones that they still got to pay attention if I say something you like on tonight the only way we can come in agreement virtually baby is if I say something you like you can drop a comment below you can get tagged you can get shared you can do all that but you might want to pay attention on tonight he said some of you on this live video right now watch this God is about to bless you and to show up in an unexplainable way some of you, God, have showed up because some of you are still alive when you should have, could have been dead a long time ago. I don't know about you, but can I get an amen if you should have been dead a long time ago? God, spare me so many times. I got a home invasion done on me while I was pistol whipped off the stool and got a gun stuck up in me and guns drawn to my kid's head. My car blew up just a few seconds after I stepped out of it. I had witchcraft on me, had me bound to a bed in the hospital. Come on. Could I talk to some people on, to, on tonight who, who missed it by the hair? on their chin. Yes, y'all know some women got on their chest, some hair on their chin, but you beautiful. You understand? Missed it by just the hair. God kept you even when you didn't even deserve to be kept. I know I was out there raising hell. I know I was a hoodlum. I know I was a gangster. I know that I was not on God's to-do list. I wasn't his first choice, baby. I had no intention of wearing skirts all the way down to my ankles and still don't. I got no intentions of wearing big church hats and still don't. I got no intentions of saying, you know what, God, I'm going to serve you four days out of the week, but I'm here. I want everybody to comment below, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Because God be Begin to mold me. He begin to create me. And let me tell you something real quick. And I don't know why I'm going there. I'm going to say this. And then I'm going to jump into the word. Anytime you get saved. God don't change nothing about you. I'm explaining. it. All he do, baby, is add the anointing and remove the sin. Let me explain it to you. If you was a boss when you was out in the streets, if you was loud when you was in the streets, if you was a leader in the streets, it's going to be the same thing for Christ. You still going to be loud. You still going to be a boss. You still going to be a leader. All God do is add the anointing and remove the sin. Don't let nobody tell you. Oh, Jesus. I don't know why God shifted me. Don't let nobody tell you, you can't come in a church house unless you dressing like this or you wear three piece suits or, oh, I step in there with my joys like, what's up? Don't let nobody tell you, you got to wear, a, 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 you know, a long dress down to your ankles or you got to do this and do that. Baby, you be you and you let God do the rest. So I thank God for my church after life ministries, baby. When I hopped out from behind bars, they ain't judge me. They ain't do none of that. So I was able to sit and get the word. And then my skirt got a little longer and a little longer. My clothes got a little looser. I began to put these breasts up, you know, because it's, it's out of honor and respect for God. But watch this. I got to do it on my own. It's a lot of people won't step in the church right now. Why? Because people judge you at the door, baby. Chill out. I ain't even put my offering in the collection plate yet. And you sitting on the same row as me looking at me crazy. Crazy. Baby, today's message, if you are just now tuning in, is that, and ain't nobody about to question you about it. God began to tell me that a lot of people who jump on this live on tonight, he's about to bless them in an unexplainable way. You better get what I'm saying to you. See, it's different when God bless you. You know, he might bless you by helping you put food in your house. He might bless you by helping you get that car. He might, you know, bless you by uh, uh, blessing you with a man. He might, you know, just he got different ways of blessing uh, different people. Why? Because different one of us need different things. He might bless you by Allowing your kids to come home after they was took, you know, by the state or bless you by, you know, finally getting your name called on the waiting list of, of something. Just, you know, he does that. Every now and then he throw out a small blessing. I want somebody to comment below. That was small. That was small. See, in your mind, you might think that that's big. You might think that that was something. But baby, that's small to a big God. Do you know you the one that's watching this video? What God got next for you is so unexplainable. 
It's so big. It's about to happen. It's so marvelous. Your mind can't even begin to comprehend what he's about to do. Nevertheless, your enemies, your haters, the people coming up against you, rooting against, they don't even understand what God is about to do next. Somebody ought to comment below. My next move about to be my best move. My next move is about to be my best move. Watch this. The definition, people of God. It's unexplainable is unable to be explained or accounted for incapable of being figured out. Y'all know I cannot start ministering till I make sure you understand what I'm talking about. If I could just get you to tag 10 people, it'll really bless me right now. If you could just tag 10 people, I speak God's double portion over everybody that begin to get tagged as of this moment. Can I get you to just tag 10 more people? Because while you're going through what you're going through, Tamika, could I get you to tag 10 people? Why are you going through what you're going through? It's something about when you can be a blessing to somebody else in the midst of what you got going on. Come on, I need you to tag about 10 more people for me. And watch this, people of God. He, he, he said, some of you on this live is about to receive something so big. It's, it's about to be in, in, in an unexplainable way. So I looked up the definition of unexplainable. And if I'm looking off, it's because I'm reading my notes. If I look up the definition of unexplainable, unexplainable means unable to be explained or accounted for, incapable of being figured out. I dare somebody to comment below. It ain't nobody about to question me about it. Every time I say that below, I, I, I say that, that that topic on tonight, our topic on tonight is, it ain't nobody about to question me about it. See, when you go to say that, you might got to suck your teeth a little bit, get a little hood with it, roll your neck, pop your lips. But baby, you better say it with meaning like, devil, I'm not playing with you in this season. Ain't nobody. Who? Ain't nobody about to question you about it because it's about to be unexplainable. It's about to be amazing. It's about to be so big. If you are just now tuning in tonight's messages, it ain't nobody about to question me about it. There are many of you on this live. Watch this. The way God's about to do it is about to have everybody in awe. I ain't say have everybody shocked. I ain't say have everybody, uh, you know, oh, baby, they about to be in awe. They about to, they about to want to investigate this thing about to be so big. They about to see you standing in front of a, a, a oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I'm about, I'm about to prophetically speak something in the atmosphere. See, you got to catch it when I say it. You got to catch it when I say it. Blessings on you, Don Campbell, for tagging and sharing. If you are on this live and have not tagged 15 people yet, baby, you about to miss your blessing. I said, in order to be blessed, you got to encourage somebody else in the midst of what you got going on. Watch this, people of God. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He said that this next move is about to have people in awe. They're about to be so mind blown. You better get what I'm saying. They're about to want to investigate this thing. Watch it. They're they, they about to see you standing in front of a, a for sale sign holding that big key. Jesus Christ, I just spoke a new home into somebody's life and you missed it. Busy trying to watch me. Thank you for tagging. Arthur, Janae, come on. I'll teach you. I need you to tag 15 people. I see all my young ladies from my uh, anthology book on here. Come on. I need y'all to tag and share. If you follow me regularly, you already know. That's the way I pray over people who tag and share. Watch this, people of God. They're about to want to investigate. How him, how, how she standing? Oh, I, hey, baby, if you ain't a homeowner yet and you desire to be one, I dare you to comment below. I receive it. I receive it. I want to stand up with my big car, cardboard key in front of my for sale sign. You better get what I'm saying. I don't care if your money don't match what I just spoke in the atmosphere. You got to begin to move when the, the spirit is, I just said. It's about to be so big in your life. People are about to want to investigate Jesus Christ. But ain't nobody about to question you about it. Why? Because God said it's about to be unexplainable. So I don't know who's on here, whoever became a homeowner yet. But baby, you ought to receive that thing in the atmosphere. He said, watch it. It's about to have people wondering. They're they about to be so stressed out trying to figure out how it happened. They're about to be so stressed out trying to figure out how God did it. They're about to be so stressed out 
trying to figure out how God was able to do it. And he told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, and ain't nobody about to question you about it. What my question marks on tonight, baby, what God is doing for you, the one that's watching this video, baby, right now, you don't even understand this thing is about to be so big, so unexplainable. It's about to have a lot of people mad. The next time, God said the next move, and the next time, God said the next move, and the next time, it ain't going to require nobody else help. Don't you hate people of God when people do stuff for you? They want to, I did this, and I, baby, I did that, baby. No, I got where I got because I was favored by God. Oh, Jesus, I'm sure Jesus, Lord, let me sit my ugly self up right now. Y'all don't even understand. People can help you get to the top of the mountain. You better hear what I'm saying to you. They can help you get to the highest point. Jesus Christ, they can help you get to that altitude. They can help you get up on your feet again. They can help you, oh, Jesus, become the best you can be. But it's something about when God do it. Can't nobody take credit for it. I dare you to comment below. Can't nobody take credit for it. Watch this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to calm myself down, Lord. Can't nobody take credit for it when God is doing it. What we mean, and the beautiful thing about it is God is not here in the physical realm. Why? Because he lies within me. He sits within me, baby. You can't even see the God in me right now. Watch this. Can't nobody take credit for what God is about to do next in your life. Do you hear what I'm saying? Because it was all you, baby. I dare somebody to come in below. Just me and God did it, baby. Just me and God did it. Just me and God did it, baby. Just, just me and God. I ain't have a whole army behind me. I ain't have a good credit score. It was just me and God, baby. I ain't have my family rooting for me. It was just me and God. Ain't nobody pray me down. Jesus Christ, it was me and God. I ain't need a prophetic word, baby. It was just me and God. Jesus, it was me and God, baby. God sat next to me while I sat on my bed crying. God sat next to me while I cried in the shower. God sat next to me while I opened the cabinets in my house and there was no food there to feed my kids. God sat next to me while I sat at the bus stop because I didn't have a car but I had to make it to work. God sat next to me while I went to the ATM and couldn't pull out $20 because my account was grow overdrawn. God sat next to me. Could I, I, I dare somebody to comment below. He sat next to me. Pastor Alicia Taylor, they don't even understand what God about to do for you next day. They, they can't stand it. They can't get it. And watch this is the good thing about it. It ain't nobody about to question you about it. If you are just now tuning in tonight's messages, ain't nobody about to question me about it. And ain't nobody about to question me about it. Why? Because God has said, he said it's going to be unexplainable. And until you know what the way we, listen, when I looked up the definition of unexplainable, that thing began to sit and soak in and sink into my, my big head. When it, when it began to get there, I, I really began to, oh Jesus, I began to clutch my pen a little bit harder as I was writing because that was big. The definition of unexplainable is unable to be explained or accounted for. Incapable. Of being, uh, 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 oh, Jesus, incapable of being figured out. That's just like people get shot in their head. And, and then the doctor say, I don't know how you made it. Baby, I ain't got to explain why I'm still here. Jesus Christ. I'm saying that to somebody who you wanted to take your life two or three weeks ago. I'm saying that to somebody who just last week you were sprung out on drugs. I'm saying that, Jesus Christ, to somebody who you looked at crazy last week. You, you went through some things just a few weeks ago. I'm saying that to somebody who was at the lowest point in their life just a, a few hours ago. I'm saying that to somebody. Oh, God. See, this live ain't going to be for everybody on tonight. This live going to be just for a few people. Who can get it in the spiritual realm? It ain't nobody about to question you about it. Can I just get some question marks below? I, I, can I get some question marks below? God said they're going to be trying to investigate how he do this next thing in your life. Because it's unexplainable. There are people, people of God who, who have their babies and the baby only one pound. Jesus, the baby got to sit in the hospital for months and then you see that baby years later and that baby biggest day. Baby, you was only one pound. You that one pound, baby. You better hear what I'm saying. It's unexplainable. 
what God is about to do for you. The one that's watching this video next, he said his, his next move will not require no help. I dare you to comment below, baby. I don't want your help. I, Sasha, you ought to comment below, baby. I don't need your help. This next thing is so big. Come on. You better put it down, Lady Hog. This next thing is so big, baby. I don't need you. I don't want your help, baby. This next thing around, this next thing God is about to do for me is personal. I don't want nobody there but me and God. I can't tell nobody about it. I can't open my mouth prematurely because every time I trust somebody and I tell them my ideas or I tell them the next move, come on, they going to pray on my downfall. So this next move is it's personal. It's going to be unexplainable. It's between me and God. So you won't get the credit for it. I ain't got to hear I put her on. Come on, who am I speaking to on tonight? I know what I'm talking about. I ain't no here just to be talking. I ain't, I ain't no here just to be running my mouth on the night. I, it, it ain't no, 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 baby. Some people need this on tonight. Somebody ought to come in below this word. It's for me. You, you was just getting ready to lose your mind. This word is for me. You was just about to go off. This word is for me. You was just about to walk up out of your, your, your marriage and, and out of your, come on. This word was for me. I dare you to come in it below. Not worrying about who won't get on tonight. I dare you to comment that thing below. And he said, he told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, people of God, he said, he said, he said, yeah, oh Jesus, this next move, it's about to be, it's about to be unexplainable. And ain't nobody about to question me about it. Because watch this. Do you know that this next move is about to be so big? Let me give you the reason. Calm down, Dr. Shakira, calm down. Because I got to say this, if you have not paid attention to anything else I've said on this live, I want you to pay attention for what, what I'm about to say next. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I feel God. I feel God. Can I, can I get somebody with an Apple iPhone to record what I'm about to say next? I'm going to count down from 10. And if I could just get you to record the next three minutes, and then you're going to inbox it to me so I can begin to send it to other people and you can send it to other people, even if they get just this moment. We're going to count down from 10. And the people who usually screen record, if you could send it to my inbox. <clears throat> but if you haven't paid attention to nothing else, I want you to catch this 10, 9, 8, come on, 7, 6, get ready to screen record, Apple iPhone users, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The reason, the reason that the devil has been after you, the reason you have been going through all the hell you're going through in your life is because what God is about to do for you next, it's unexplainable. People are going to lose their everlasting mind trying to investigate on how you got where you are going to next. Do you know that because God is getting ready to do something big in your life, it's about to trigger hell. You got to get what I'm saying. It's about to trigger hell. This is why you're going through it financially. This is why you're going through it in your relationship. This is why you're going through it when it comes to your children. This is why you're going through it on the job. You're going through it with the church folks. This is why you're going through it in your mental health. This is why you're going through it in your body. It's because what God is about to do for you next is about to trigger hell. The enemy has to release something to stop you. Why? Because he's afraid of God's next move. The definition, people of God, of unexplainable is unable to be a explained or accounted for incapable of being figured out do you get what i'm saying god told me to come and tell you what he's about to do next is about to be mind-blowing and guess what it ain't nobody about to question you about it ain't nobody gonna question you about what god is doing next watch this because they're gonna be too busy trying to figure out how why who what where and when i want to encourage you to keep on moving in the midst of everything you're going through. The reason you are going through it and at a place where you want to give up, where you want to pull out your hair, where you want to give in, where you want to give up on watch this, everybody, including yourself, is because this next move that God is about to do has triggered hell. It has woke up the demons below. So this is why they're trying with witchcraft. This is why they're slandering your name. This is why they're lying on you. This is why the children acting up. This is why your husband 
acting crazy. This is why your wife all over the place. It's because God is about to do a miracle that is mind blowing. It ain't nobody about to question you about it. Baby, when God do something, not a question can come forth. Why? Because when he say something, it is so. I dare somebody to comment below. It is so. Whatever you are needing God to do, all you got to do is stay in the fight. Whatever you needing God to do, all you got to do is not give in. God say he about to do it. It ain't nobody about to get credit for it. They ain't about to say, baby, I put you on. They ain't about to say, baby, you got them keys because of me. They ain't about to say it only worked out because I came back. They ain't about to say it only happened because I loaned you the money. Baby, no, this next move is personal where it's just me and God. So watch God do it. It ain't nobody about to question you about it because it's all God. People of God, listen, thank you for the screen recorders. You can end there. Watch this. I, I want to I wanna tell you, let me just read this little bit out of the Bible that blessed me. That got me to this message on tonight. In the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 1. You know, I read the Bible back and forth. But it's, it's rarely that people go back to the beginning. In the beginning, in the book of Genesis chapter 1. And I'm reading for the message Bible. Just hold on, let me set a foundation. It said, first this, meaning first this. First this, first this, meaning first, number, number one, step one. Let me, let me say this off, off ripping. I break the Bible down so people who don't read it can understand it. So it's my version. I'm going to read the Bible and I'm going to put a spin on it. And I pray you don't have a problem with it. If you do, you can exit. It says, watch this in the book of Genesis chapter one. It says, first this, I'm reading out of the message Bible. God created the heavens and the earth and you'll see and you don't see. Earth was a soup of nothingness. Some of you people of God, people said you'll never be nothing. Some of you people of God, people look at you like you nothing. Some of you people, God, people treat you like you nothing. They don't invite you nowhere because they figure you're going to always be broke or need to borrow and beg. Could I just keep it real with some people on today and say, watch this. The earth was a soup of nothingness, a bottomless emptiness. Jesus Christ. Do I got some empty people on here on tonight? Cause do I got some people on here who say I'm in a relationship, but I still feel alone sometimes. Jesus Christ. Do I got some people on here who say I've been giving and doing for everybody else, but I feel all empty inside when it comes to doing for me. You better hear what I'm saying. It say bottomless emptiness and inky blackness. God's spirit brought it like a bird above the watery abias. Watch this. It said, and God spoke. I want somebody to comment below. God spoke. Oh, Jesus. And ain't nobody about to question you about it. You better catch this in the spiritual realm. It said, <clears throat> the earth was, 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 was empty and the earth was nothing. Some of you have been empty and to people, you're nothing. And truth be told to your own self, sometimes you feel like you are nothing. It said, but God spoke. It's something about when God speak a word over your life. I ain't talking about these fake prophets. I ain't talking about people you getting advice from. Baby, it's something about when God himself speaks. It said, and God spoke in verse 3. I'm reading Genesis chapter 1 from the message Bible. It said, and God spoke light and light appeared. What nobody there to say, God, what do we need light for? God, what is this? Did nobody question God, baby? He said it and it was so. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message is, it ain't nobody about to question you about it. It said God spoke light and light appeared. God saw that light was good. Oh, Jesus. Some of you, God speaking boss and you become a boss. Some of you, God speaking homeowner and you'll become a homeowner. And then it says, and God will see that it is good. Watch it. It's saying God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named the light day. He named the dark night. It was evening. It was morning on day one. And then it said again in verse five, God spoke. Come on. I need somebody to comment below. God spoke. God spoke. Jesus Christ. Lord God, my lace wig already lifting. I don't want to pull it out, but I feel God. Hear me. In verse five, it said God spoke. God spoke sky and in the middle of the waters, watch this, it said separate water from water, God made sky. Some of you people of God, God about to speak pregnancy, even at an early age, at, a, at an older age.
You ain't never had no kids. You done, or you done tried and, and that thing just didn't, it didn't work out for you. But it's something about, baby, when God speak that it happens, it ain't nobody about to question you about it. God spoke sky and there was sky. You better catch this in the spiritual realm. I'm, 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 I'm going to put this thing in you and then I'm going to go ham. It say, it say, watch this. And there it was. He named sky and heavens and it was evening and it was morning on day two. And then watch this verse nine said, God spoke. Some of you people of God, God is about to speak that car into your life. Even though you don't qualify for it. Some of you people, God, God is about to speak that husband into your life. Even though you got a bunch of baby daddies or you got a bunch of failed marriages or you got a bad, you know, relationship. God is about to speak marriage in your life. Maybe somebody on here, people of God, who who been in that relationship 15, 20 years. And it don't seem like he's the husband. It don't seem like he's the right man. But it's something about when God speak that he becomes husband. You better catch this in the spiritual realm. It ain't nobody. I'm about to question you about it. If you are just now tuning in tonight's messages, it ain't nobody about to question me about it. Come on, where my question marks at? Drop them below. Remember I say when I say the tonight's title, I want to see the question marks. Said God spoke separate. Water beneath heaven gather in one place. Land appeared and there it was. And God named the name earth and he named pool over ocean and God saw that it was good. Some of you people of God, what God is about to do in your life, it's about to be a domino effect of things. Boom, this was good. Boom, that was good. Boom, this was good. Boom, that was, I want everybody to comment below. Boom, it's coming in a boom effect. B-O-O-M. You ought to put it in capital letters. It's up for you to receive it. I can give you the word. I can prophesy. I can speak it into your life. But it's up to you to receive it. It said, watch this in verse 11. God spoke. Earth, green up. Grow all varieties of seed bearing plants. Every sort of fruit plant. And there it was. Nobody questioned God. Nobody said, God, why we got to have apple trees? God, we grow, why we got to grow this? God, why we got to grow that? Nobody questioned him. He said what he, he said. And it was so. It's up to you to speak over your life. Say what you need God to do and watch it be so. And God said, you're going to know that he did it because couldn't nobody stop it. And ain't nobody going to question you about it. Earth produced green seed bearing plants, all varieties. Watch this. And God saw it was good. Then in verse 14, it say, and God spoke lights come out, shining heaven skies, separate day from night, mark season and days and years, lights in heaven. And there it was. I just want to remind somebody on tonight that God said what he's about to do in your life next is about to be unexplainable. I read the definition of unexplainable. Unexplainable is unable to be explained or accounted for. Incapable of being figured out. The same way they can't figure out how you keep bouncing back after you being attacked. The same way they can't figure out how you keep smiling in the midst of what you're going through. The same way they keep trying to figure out why you keep taking him or her back when they don't deserve it. The same way they keep trying to figure out how are your lights still on? The same way they trying to figure out how are you able to be so strong after the loss of a loved one? The same way they trying to figure out why everybody still like you after they slandered your name. God said it's unexplainable. So he told me to come and tell you the one that's watching this video, baby, your ne this next move he about to do, only he gonna get the credit for it. This next thing God about to do in your life, it's going to trigger hell. So don't be alarmed by the attacks. I want everybody to comment below. I'm not alarmed by the attacks. I'm not alarmed by the attacks. Don't give up because of the attacks. You got to get attacked, baby. What God about to do for you next, it triggered hell. It woke up demonic force. It woke up witches and warlocks. It woke up voodoo priests and, and people who can't stand you for no reason at all. It woke them up. They don't want you to get what God got next for you. But you got to keep your eyes on God. Lord, I done went horse on this live a little bit. <coughs> you got to keep your eyes on God. Do you get what I'm saying? God is doing something amazing in your life. And it's going to take for you to trust him completely. You are too far in this to give up right now. Somebody out of the comment below, I can't give up. 
Some of you can't give up if you wanted to. You, 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 you've sat there wanting to give yourself, but you got your kids that's depending on you. Some of you can't give up if you want to. Why? Because a whole generation behind you is expecting you to do it. I'm going to tell you the one that's watching this video. God said this next move is about to be so unexplainable. Do you hear what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's about to be so unexplainable, people of God, that it's going to trigger hell, Daisy. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? There is going to be consequences behind what God is about to do next because the devil don't like it. You got to stay focused. You can't give up. You can't give in. God is doing something amazing. And it's up to you to believe that he'll do it. It's up to you to keep trusting him. This next move is about to break the back of the enemy. It has woke up the demon. It has triggered hell. So don't be alarmed by attacks. Don't be alarmed if every day it seems like it's something else. Don't be alarmed if there's no peace in your household. Don't be alarmed if you get bad news via mail. Don't be alarmed if people begin to walk out of your life for no reason at all. Don't be alarmed. <clears throat> it's just a tactic of the enemy, people of God, to get you off track. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message was simple. Tonight's message, people of God, was watch this. It was, it ain't nobody about to question me about it. Some of you people of God, people still trying to figure out how you got to where you are. And God is like, mind your business. You ain't going to owe nobody no explanation for what God is about to do for you next. Do you hear what I'm saying? You ain't going to owe nobody no explanation. You ain't going to have to say thank you to nobody. Ain't nobody going to be holding nothing over your hand because they helped you out. Because God say this is going to be between you and him. You ain't going to have to hear, baby, I put you on or I made you. Nah, baby, this personal. This next move going to be all God in me. All God in me. I want somebody to comment below. All God. This going to be all God. This going to be all God. Don't be alarmed. The devil is doing his job. If you speeding down the road and, 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 and the police give you a ticket, you mad with him for doing his job? It's the devil's job to attack. So don't be alarmed. When he see that, you don't let that area upset you anymore. He can't attack you with the same thing anymore. When you begin to say, all right, devil, I see you and laugh at it. He got to find another way to upset you and get up under your skin. Don't be alarmed. I pray that y'all can hear me clearly. I went literally hoarse on this live. So listen, before you get off, people of God, tonight's message was, it ain't nobody going to question you about it. If this message bless you, I want to give you an opportunity to sow. The phone number is pinned to the bottom. Some of you are going to sow $30 because I'm believing God to do it within the next 30 hours. Some of you are going to sow $30. Some of you are going to sow $130. Some of you are going to sow $1,300. And in the memo section, I just want you to put a question mark. I want you to pray before you sow into my ministry. Ask God. You know if this word was for you. Some of you are just now tuning in. I dare you to go back and watch it. The seed amount tonight. Some of you are going to sow $30.30. Some of you it's $130. Some of you, it's $1,300, but I dare you to trust God. I ain't been on here in a minute. But this word on tonight, it was so powerful. I had to jump on. In the beginning, when God said, let there be light, ain't nobody questioned them. It was so. Watch God do it. Every time I say it tonight, it ain't nobody going to question you about it. I told people to drop the question emojis. The number is pinned to the bottom. Cash out. Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Vimo. I dare you to trust God on tonight. Somebody going to sow $30.30. Some of you is going to be $130.30. Somebody going to sow $1,300. But I want you to sow in increments of 30 on tonight. Some of you is going to be a $60 seed because you got to sow for you and somebody else. 
Some of you is going to be a $260 seed because you sow it for two people. But I dare you to trust God. I'm believing God within the next 30 hours. There was already some people sowing uh, people of God before I even <clears throat> begin to call the seed. They follow me all the time. They sow. It alerts my phone. My phone shake. But tonight, I really want you to pray about it. I just spoke something in the atmosphere that was very powerful. And it's up to you to receive it. It ain't nobody going to question you about it. Your enemies are about to try to investigate how God make this next move for you. It's about to be unexplainable. If you're doing cash app, people of God, please type in the whole phone number. Because they've made fake cash apps of me. And to Dr. Shakira M pops up. The phone number for Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Vimo is 754-246-0580. 754-246-0580. For Cash App, Dr. Shakira M would pop up. And for uh, uh, um, Zelle, Gum Ministries would pop up. G-U-M for God use me. God got to do this for you. And he's going to do it for you. You're going to see the numbers dropping tremendously right now. Because there are so many people sowing. There are people calling in. Listen, people of God, if you don't, if you don't have any one of those form of payments, you can text the phone number 754-246-0580. Text me the word invoice, your email, and the amount you want me to request from you. And you can put it in with your own card information. If you don't have Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Vimo, um, just simply text 754-246-0580. Invoice with your email and then the amount you want me to request. And you have that option to give. You got to pray about giving. Some people, you know, they sit on here and you know God don't tug on their heart to give. That's fine. But maybe it's something about when you put a seed in the ground. That things begin to move. Pray about it. If you are somebody who sold. Because there's a bunch of people sowing. I want you to comment below. I sold. Some of you are sowing right now. And you're not putting the question marks. In the memo section. I want you to put the question marks. In the memo section. Because tonight's word. People of God. Was and ain't nobody. About to question you about it. God said this next move. Is about to be. Unexplainable. That people are about to investigate, is it real? Somebody just called me from Kentucky. Somebody just called me from Louisiana. I cannot call you guys back. I'm still on live. Text, text, 754-246-0580. And that's the request. An invoice. You need your email and the amount. Listen, you guys, uh, follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I upload every live video there. If you want me to... Exactly, Taisha. If you want, listen, someone sees that $30, $130, $1,300, sewing increments of 30 on tonight. And you know, not everybody know about sewing, but sometimes you got to do something different. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I'm getting ready to pray over every seat right now. Follow me on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. I only got one Instagram. All the rest are fake. Evangelist.shakira. And my favorite... Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. It has became my favorite. You know why? Because I can message my followers there. Hit follow. I follow back. Follow me on TikTok. Also, you can get me quicker there than here because I have a big social media following. I am in Bradenton, Florida uh, this weekend, uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, and then, uh, people of God, I'm in Texas with Leandria Johnson. Uh, and 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 uh, that's the month of October, and um, at uh, also at the end of October I'm in Texas, and that's with um, Leandria. I mean not Leandria. That one is with Master P, Vivica Fox, uh, who else? Romeo, Eric Thomas, so many great people there, and um, also people of God. I just got so much coming up. I'm trying to remember it all. Uh, I, I will be going back uh, to Winter Haven, Florida in November. I have a few things coming up. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I have a few things coming up. I'm going to start posting flyers. Listen, people of God, let me say this to you also. 
Um, don't let nobody tell you that God ain't working in your life, even when it looks like he's not working. Don't let nobody convince you otherwise because he's moving and they can't see the way you see. They can't see the way you see. If you are somebody who screen recorded for me, please send it to my inbox. Please, 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 please. I love you guys. Let me pray. Father, bless every seed giver on tonight. Everybody who sold in increments of 30, whether it was $3, where it was $10.30, whether it was $1,300, where it was $300, $130. God, just bless every person who wanted to give. God, and didn't have it to give. I ask that you bless every person who tagged into this live on tonight. God, do what you do best. You're the miracle worker. You're the way maker. So, Father God, I ask that you do it within the next 30 hours. Everybody have another need, a different need, a different want, a different desire. But, God, you're the only person who can be uh, everywhere. So, I dispatch angels to exactly where they are. God, I thank you that is going forth. In the name of Jesus, amen. May every seed that was sown come back a thousandfold. Listen, hit the follow button on Facebook. Shakira McFadden, if you want to know when I'm going live, all you got to do is hit the follow button and then click on favorites. And every time I go live, it will definitely alert you. Hit the follow button, Shakira McFadden on Facebook, and then click on favorites. And you will definitely, um, as I stated, get a notification every time I go live. Listen, I love y'all. God bless y'all. And with her horse. If you are just now tuning in, tonight's message, uh, people of God, is and ain't nobody about to question you about it. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Take care.